Can you wrap a car in 24 hours? How do you do this? We've spent a lot on performance mods, so it's time we made our supercar beta look awesome. But we don't have much money, so we're going DIY. What are you doing? So Scott said, if we can wrap this on our Subaru race car in 24 hours as complete beginners, <laughs> we can keep it for free. If not, it comes out of our Subaru budget. It'd be easy. <laughs> 24 hours is too long. It's just a big sticker. Yeah. It can't be that hard. We had the wrap, the car, Richard's workshop, and some tools we bought from Amazon. So let's see what color we chose. We've gone for something that's a bit out there. I've never seen a Subaru in this color before. Oh, it's the right one we ordered. That, that looks good. <laughs> Do you like it? I like that, I think that's gonna look good. When it comes to wrapping, it's so important to spend time on prep. So we took the car outside for a proper clean before bringing it into the workshop. The most important thing is that you need to clean behind the edges. Obviously that is where the edge of the wrap is going to stick to. And then we also need to take all the bits off. So the bumpers all need to come off, stuff like the scoop will need to come off. We're hoping this doesn't come out of the budget because we've bought some really good wrap. This Hexis wrap set us back 570 pounds. We bought way more than we needed in case we mess up, but hopefully the better quality material will make our lives easier. So it's nine o'clock, we're gonna start the clock now. And if it is done by 9 a.m. tomorrow, we get to keep the wrap for free. I think we'll be done by lunch. <laughs> I hate it when you say <laughs> stuff like that. We went ahead and removed everything that would make wrapping the car easier. Here she comes. Yes. One bumper. If it don't stick, it's not a good sticker, is it? This is all prep work. Once we're wrapping, a bit of piece of So we are an hour and a half in. We have cleaned it, bumper off. These headlights removed so like you can get to all these edges here. Callum was feeling brave, so he started wrapping the first panel. Oh my God! I'm sending it. That is not gonna go well. <laughs> How much have you got on this? Oh my God! <laughs> what are you doing? This is a classic example of how hard can it be? Yeah. Really hard. <laughs> Will took an easy approach and started on the fuel filler cap. It's incredibly therapeutic. Really? I want to scream. That's hot. Haha. <laughs> I would call that done. First panel complete. Callum was still going on the quarter panel and I was over the moon with my filler cap. I'm really pleased with that. This is like my child. Everyone remembers the first thing they wrapped. That's phenomenal. Wrap companies hit me up. That felt like it, I thought that was going on nicely, that. And then, out of nowhere, you I think we leave those in. It's just a design. You You think you are It's like the most enjoyable thing, but also you want to kill it. We had done as much research as we could, but we were still learning on the job. No, I've done a bad. What? No, that's fine. That will be fine, because the headlight will cover it. <laughs> <laughs> I know how little that took to overheat it. When I saw it just curl up and split, I was like, oh no. So what can you learn from that? So it you need to heat it up, but not too much. Pulling and heating. Yeah, it's probably a bad idea. Yeah. Now that we had one panel finished, the three of us were on a roll. Tell you what, I'm gonna deploy the secret weapon. No. <laughs> wow. Sniff test. Smells good. It's very strong. <laughs> oh my god. I'm invigorated already. <laughs> Instantly <laughs> hydrated. I'm not on board. Now we were full of prime, we were ready to tackle another big panel. Hang on, hang on. Okay, maybe we get this on and then we work down. While we were hard at work messing things up, Richard had a go at wrapping one of the fiddliest parts on the car, the door handles. Have you seen this? Oh my God, Richard! <laughs> Richard the wrapper. <laughs> wrapping Richard. Well in. So, hour four, we have a front wing. That was our first panel, it's ropey. <laughs> uh, second panel, this one is better. This one is much better. You'll notice that's a sixth of our time, and we've done two small panels and a door handle. 
this is gonna be tight. Once you get to 2 a.m., progress will slow down and we'll probably make more mistakes as well. Scott really didn't want us to win, so he tried to distract us with food. <laughs> no, it's got a line in it. Right. That is good work, Will. Thanks, Dad. We were growing in confidence, so we moved on to our biggest panel yet, the bonnet. So our Subaru is great, but there's one quite big problem with it. If you follow me in here. The big problem in here is that we've removed everything to put anything anywhere. So I used to put my phone down there for maps, and now I can't do it. But thankfully, this video is sponsored by Quadlock. So now we have somewhere to put a phone. Now, Quadlock have kitted us up with loads of stuff to make sure our phones are secure in the car. Now, they do a load of mounts. That one was a windscreen dash mount. Because the ideal place for your phone is going to vary based on the car and the visibility you have, you're going to want to mount it in different places depending on what car. So you've got a car vent mount. That's often the best place. They also do this adhesive car mount, which also works to stick it to the dashboard. And also what you can see here is they actually do interchangeable mag rings with a load of different colors that fit on the back of the phone. So you can customize that as well. So we have the windscreen dash car mount which has an industrial strength suction cup with adhesive on the back of it so you know it's really on there well so when we take this to the track we know the phone and the mount aren't going anywhere it also has an adjustable head on the back so you can place it exactly where you want it. make sure to check out quadlock for a case and a mount and any of this stuff in the link in the description below thanks to quadlock for sponsoring this episode do we have enough roll to this up no. no so let's do it right yeah we can <laughs> up a wing mirror here and there but not on it chuck it over okay let's just send it I'm feeling the pressure now. How do you do this? Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. The bonnet was much more of a challenge than we anticipated, but Jackson reminded us just how far we have to go. It's half through. I, th I think that's good progress. Quarter of the way through. Have we done more than a quarter of the car? Yes. Yes, but the bits that are left to the f***y bits, like the bumper and the scoop. Jackson, <laughs> if you're not coming with immaculate vibes, I don't want to know. <laughs> we need your help with something. We need a name for our Subaru, so drop it in the comments below. If we pick your name, we'll give you $100. Hour seven. Will's hiding, he's there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've done front wing, then the other front wing, then we did a door, and now we've just done the bonnet. The bonnet took ages. Nobody spoke for, I think, was an hour. Yeah. It was just pure concentration. I think the plan of action now is you crack on with the big panels. And I'm gonna tackle this. The problem with this is that this surface on this paint, because it's painted on plastic, something's happened to it over the last 20 years. And so the wrap, doesn't really stick to it and you can see it pulls up the paint with it so every time as we're putting this on and off you're building up more and more crap under the under the wrap definitely the most serious we've ever been in a driven media video because this doesn't even give us anything no. it just looks and also the budget matters yeah because if you this up then that must take away some horsepowers yeah yeah we need six seven hundred quid what is that in horsepowers 50 yeah, we need all the horsepowers we can yeah. get. Where's my prime? I need it. It was 5 p.m. and both Callum and I were flagging. <laughs> so Scott came down to give us a little bit of encouragement. How are you getting on, boys? This is putting up a fight. Well, as morale is a little bit low, if you get it done, I've got a little gift for you. But I can't tell you what they are. They? 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 Have you bought us some wheels? You'll have to wait and see. They're coming in the morning. Ooh. So in the morning, we can wheel this out fully wrapped with the new... If we get it finished. Yeah. Which we will now. Right. Thank you. But... It's off. <laughs> We're at the end of the normal work day, so Jackson and Scott headed home. There was still plenty of wrapping to do, so Will, Richard and I carried on into the night. Nine hour update. Um, I've been having a go at the bumper over there, but it's fighting me. Because there's some complex curves and things like this, it is just, I've overworked this bit. I think I might actually rip that off, even though it's taken me an hour. Well, <laughs> he's working on the scoop. 
fighting a scoop. Why are you struggling? It's when you come round here and I've gone a bit short there. Oh, well. But, but I can fix it. It's the main bit everyone looks at on a Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> we still had plenty of time left, but it was really starting to feel like a huge job. Right, where are we? I have just spent possibly three days on a still front end ish. Richard is battling that. Yeah, we're having a lot of problems with that front end, and I think we're going to have the same problem at the back bumper because it's worse. But I think we're making good progress. Hmm. We just have all the shit bits left to go. Right, what panel are you working on next? That's a good point. We were really starting to slow down now. Richard had now gone home, so it was just myself and Callum left to finish the car. I mean, our update, we've got a quarter, a door, and this bumper, and the bumper is being a pain. It's, the paint is so bad and dry, you can hear, like, that's paint, and that is the, the bumper, you can really hear it. We were absolutely knackered, but we had to get this done so that it didn't come out of our budget. So we soldiered on through the night and into the early hours of the morning. So we're back here this morning. We finished yesterday at 3 a.m. and all of our camera batteries ran out and we forgot to film. We actually got it done. It took less than 24 hours for two idiots and a Richard to wrap an entire Subaru. What that means is that we don't have to take this out of the budget and now we can see what gift Scott has bought us. So Scott's present presents have arrived. So same tires as last time because we can't afford new ones. <laughs> they felt a bit lighter as well. Yeah. Nice present though, from him. Scott knows a thing or two about fitment. Yeah. Come on though, the before and after, just the wheels and the yellow. Very different to the first time we brought it here. Yeah, with crusty wheels. Yeah. High riding, dirty, no clutch. And now it looks like this. So we wheel out in the sun. I think so, yeah. Is it time? I don't think the sun is ready for this. No. <laughs> <laughs> if we were to give you any tips, make sure you do your research, get ready to mess up a lot, and remember that prep is key. It was finally time to pull the car out of the garage and see it in the sun for the first time. We were so excited. It's it, so yellow. In the sun? Oh, man. The sun does mean the imperfections are bigger. Now, if you look at that rear bumper. Yeah, this, you know, look at that. The sun doesn't help there. Yeah, but if you, if you sort of like step all the way back from here, yeah. it's unbelievable. We weren't finished there, so we had a couple of finishing touches to add. While we were tidying things away, Callum thought it'd be funny to put my name on my car. Because he drives like a racing driver, so he may as well have his name above his door. <laughs> Why have you done that? <laughs> so I removed it and creatively rearranged it on his car. Ah, oh, we're done. Let's show you around it. We've got obviously the more fast branding and then these incredible wheels. I'm so, I'm so pleased with those wheels. This is good. I like this. Yeah. And there's a Subaru front. It is Subaru font, yes. Finally, after 24 hours, a lot of energy drinks and almost no sleep at all, the car is complete. We came into this as complete amateurs and learned a lot along the way. I am so pleased. I'm over the moon with the way it looks. Make sure to check out the full playlist of the More Fast series and the previous episode down here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. I need bed. Yeah, I need bed. I'm going to bed. That was a long night. <laughs>